this. This is Izzy. No, not this. This is Izzy. She is a female house cockroach. She's not a big fan of enclosures. She usually will eat leftovers. And you know what? This is a pretty bright light. I gotta see that. So here's Izzy. There's a little spitball right there. Izzy likes to get stuff and food all over her hands. She eats it all the way. Um, antennas and legs. Izzy will eat these. Do not feed them chocolate, cause well, yeah, I, I don't I'm only feed them chocolate. I just don't. I don't want to touch Izzy. Now I want Izzy to adapt to a new enclosure. Usually a cockroach would be a much bigger space than this, but I suggest a smaller space so she doesn't escape or get way too used to the area she's in. So yeah, this is Izzy. Not a big fan of enclosures or anything about her. She's just trying to find her way out of here. Most of you must be not really a big fan of cockroaches, which I get that. This is unable to climb through here because the, these are the right walls. The plastic walls used for shampoos. The texture of the inside is it's not slippery, it's a dull texture. So, why would you look at that? She's drinking out of. The contaminated water. You could tell. She likes my spit. Izzy's a very well trained cockroach as well. You could tap. She'll look up a tap against. Oh, okay, she didn't do the she didn't do the eating trick. She's definitely drinking. I think I should drop a little drop of soda. sure how to get a soda drop ends of year, but years is he maybe thinking I'm crazy to have a pet cockroach, a living breathing cockroach full of diseases and crap like that. But guys I respect all insects, but the most insects that need all respect are wasps. Wasps. That's right, you need to defend wasps. Join team wasps. I, I wouldn't recommend touching a wasp or trying to catch them though. Even though I do that, I'm a trained professional with wasps. So, I'm, I'm being serious by the way. I've been with, yeah, I've, I've been in this situation. I've dealt with wasps before. They're pretty fun. Sometimes you gotta neuter them or escape into stingers. Look at her. I'm with the kid. See, she likes to adapt to color variations. Tries to get to the brightest light. So that's why you gotta fill her home closer with light. So she doesn't get too crazy. But sometimes I. Sometimes I do this. So it doesn't really work well because then you can't see her as well. But it surely does work, so I do this. Um, now we got really soaked and moisturized food. She's gonna love that. 
I'm gonna touch her for the first time ever. Ooh, wiggly. No, <laughs> I don't like that. But yeah, this is Izzy. She's a very nice cockroach. I like her. She's very mature, unlike other cockroaches. So, yeah, there is a